Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Reading the Red this Tuesday morning. It's going to be a wonderful sunny day. Uh, we're looking at Matthew chapter 7 and uh, we're looking at verse uh, 27 today. Jesus completes some teaching with regards to uh, listening and doing what he uh, says uh, regarding the words he speaks. And in 27 it says, The rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and slammed against that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. So he gives two comparisons. First of all, those people who listen to the words that he speaks and acts upon them, and he says there's favour and blessing for those who do that, and then he gives another example, the alternative, which is those who hear the words that he speaks and does not act upon what he says. Those people, he says, will be like those who build their house upon the sand. When the problems and the pressures and the issues of life come their way and slam against their lives, those who do not act upon his word, he says, they are houses will fall down the reality of what they're trying to build will be broken everything that is precious to them will be lost and Jesus often gave a comparison alternative and some people think well I'll take this and I won't take that I'll take that but I won't take this and it's like they go through their Christian lives thinking that they can pick and choose what revelations of truth they're going, to, they're going to subscribe to and what revelations of truth they're going to disregard. And Jesus is saying those kind of people, those kind of Christians who do that will find themselves experiencing in the storm the crashing down of their lives, the crashing down of their houses he says they are what we call foolish people he says and the the, the floods came the winds blew uh, slammed against the house and it fell and great was its fall meaning it fell down it was over it was finished it was broken it couldn't be retrieved and so listening to what Jesus says not picking and choosing but listening to what he says and obeying what he says is crucial if we're going to get ourselves out of the hole that we've got into as a result of living in a rebellion to God's will, purpose and plans. I've said before, we are spiritual beings. We have souls. We live in bodies. Our soul part of us is still recovering from all of the brokenness that we have allowed to happen as a result of the journey we've lived our lives without God. Now we're back in a relationship with God. God is in the business of retrieving what is broken in our soul, our mind, emotions and will. And the only way that mending is going to take place is if we learn to surrender to the revelations of the truth that Jesus has a, invites us into in terms of a personal investment within that truth. And those people who put their faith in the words that Jesus speaks and follow his example, they will have lives that will reflect the kingdom they're going to be going to. And those who refuse to accept what he says will have lives that will crash down to the ground. Plenty to think about. Have a great Tuesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bless you.